hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is ego and this is well this used to be love ego this is now diys with ego for the past couple of weeks i've been doing a complete like rebrand and that's why the channel name changed and i also realized a lot of you couldn't find my old comments like my old reply to comments and some of the things in my description but that's but that's because when i switched to a brand channel youtube kind of removed or i lost a lot of like the description in my old video so i'm going to be working on replacing some of those like getting all those back i also got a new job so i've been trying to figure out like a way to like really balance that and the youtube channel so that i could serve you guys and still you know have a career so i've been trying to do both of those things and that's why i've been a little mia here so thank you so much for your comments i keep trying to respond as often as i can so that's what has been going on but yeah let's go straight into today's tutorial so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make this sequin two-piece outfit it's a, a pair of wide leg pants and um cow neck top that you can wear as is or you can just throw a blazer on i like two-piece outfits because you can wear them as separates or you can wear them together so for this outfit you can dress it up and you can dress it down it's sequin is one of those things that i find if you have it in your closet you can really make it casual but if you have like a, an elegant like classy event to go to then you can just throw it on so if you're interested keep watching so for the pair of pants start by copying the pattern off a pair of wide leg pants what you want to do is fold your trousers in half and trace around the edges now you need to do this for both the front and the back panels of the pants because if you've ever like looked at a pair of pants and you know that like the back, the crotch is a little more extended than the front. So you need to copy the pattern twice for both panels, the front and the back where you end up with similar but not exact like mirror pieces after you after tracing and cutting. And then after you trace that onto your pattern, you're going to take that pattern, place it on your fabric and cut two right sides facing pieces each. So you're going to be cutting two front legs and you're going to be cutting two back legs. Okay, so now that we have all the pieces of the pants cut out, all four legs, what you're going to do is we're going to start sewing the pants together by first pinning down the matching crotch seams closed. So on the crotch seams for the front legs, you're going to pin all pin them closed and then do the same thing for the back legs. So pin and sew those pieces together. After that part is sewn, next place both legs on top of each other, matching the fronts to the back. So place the trousers, both legs on top of each other, align them right sides facing each other, then pin and sew first the side seams and then the inner seams. So to, to sew the inner seams, you're going to have to like match the crotch parts carefully and then pin them together before you start sewing. So at this point, you should begin to see your pants like forming correctly. And like I said before, these pants are going to be lined. So if you're also working with lining fabric, just go ahead and repeat the exact same thing that you did for the main fabric onto the lining fabric. Now take the main fabric and line it up with the lining piece and align them at the waistline. So you're going to want to align them in such a way that the wrong side of the main fabric is touching the wrong side of the lining fabric. So wrong sides facing each other. And next we're going to make a tunnel around the waistband for inserting the elastic for the waistband. We're going to be inserting the elastic around the waist like I said earlier. So I've gone ahead and I've sewn a 
inch tunnel around the waistband and I left 2.5 inches because that is just enough space for us to fold the top of the waistband and sew it and still have enough of tunnel space to run the elastic through. So once you've sewn that tunnel, pin and top stitch the top the seams closed but make sure you leave an opening that is wide enough to run the elastic band through. Also, a little side note, the, you should know that the elastic band should be your waist measurement minus 1 inches. So my waist measurement is 28 inches, meaning I cut 27 inches of elastic. And once the elastic is run all the way, sew it up and close the open seam at the waistband. And you're basically done. The final step is just to finish off the hem of the pants and you can just and you can just do a visible straight stitch or even sew an invisible hand stitch if that's something that you're up for. Yeah, so next let's move to the cow neck top. So the pattern for the top is actually pretty simple and it's very similar to another tutorial that I've done on this channel so if you want to like really see the slow down version of how to sew a cow neck top I would suggest you check out this tutorial as well I will also leave a link in this video and in the description box but for the top we're basically going to be cutting two rectangles and the width of the rectangle is your chest measurement plus five inches and the length of the rectangle is going to be the length of your top how long you want your top to be and mine was just about 11 inches long So you're going to need to sew two pieces of that, the main fabric and the lining fabric. Then you need two tie straps that are both about 30 inches long and a waist tie of about 60 inches long or 1.5 meters long. That one we're going to be cutting into two. So, so after cutting out the measurements for the fabric, just place those place the rectangles right sides facing each other. So place them right sides facing each other and then like attach the ties to where they're supposed to be. And as you'd expect, I'm sewing them with the wrong sides out and then we're going to flip them out to get the ties out. So at this point, all the ties should be sewn closed except for the waist tie. Pin them all around on three sides, the top and the two sides where we're going to be sewing it closed. But don't forget to attach your ties to the top first before sewing it closed. So once you've done that and you've sewn all three sides together, just flip the top out and you get the ties out. And that's basically it for the top. It's so quick and it's so simple. And this is the final result. This is what it ended up looking like. So guys, I really like this outfit. I love how it turned out and I can't wait to see if you guys are going to try it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comment section and I look forward to catching up with you guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.